install the Zen browser on Linux is very easy. Just head to this link that I'll put in the description and click down for Linux. <clears throat> and it should download for you a uh, compressed uh, file. So what you do with that is you need to decompress that. On most distros, you can right click and you can do extract and extract to or extract here, whichever, whichever wherever you want to extract it. Um, and once you do that, uh, I will say though, um, just personal tip, you might want to extract it somewhere else, like uh, the home folder or something other than just downloads. <clears throat> uh, if you uh, want to do that through the command line, it's also very easy. Uh, just navigate to that directory and do uh, tar dash um, xvf and the file name. Uh, let's see. Yeah. I already did that, so I'm not going to do that again. Um, <clears throat> once you have that extracted, uh, you can uh, go to that directory where you extracted it to. Um, and I can see there that I have the browser here. So if you execute that as a uh, uh, with a dot slash, you'll get your browser. Now, if you want to make a uh, like an actual, you know, uh, option like a desktop uh, file to open uh, the browser like I do here, you know, on your application menu or whatever, you know, your desktop environment uses. Um, that's also very easy. So you're going to want to, uh, in the applications uh, directory under user share, uh, just create a desktop entry uh, for uh, your <coughs> uh, browser. So I did that. So I'm going to hit enter. We can take a look. Um, I can copy paste these contents uh, for you in the description as well. Um, so you're gonna see that uh, the, here's the name, you can put anything you want. Uh, the exec path is the path to that uh, script here. So you'll see it's uh, my home directory uh, slash Zen and then Zen again, because it's the actual script itself. So that's why that's, there's two of them. And um, you can provide the path to the icons as well. So if I go to the home directory, go to Zen, browser, Chrome, icons. So that's that path being provided uh, there. Okay, and everything else you can keep the same again. I'll put this for you guys. <clears throat> and after that, you're just going to do update, um, desktop database uh, local share applications and then you should be able to see you have your uh, as like a normal app basically and from here you're all set <clears throat> uh, you should be able to launch your uh, browser and you should have it all good to go.